Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this video we will be learning how to make these really pretty sculptural bubble candles. So let's get started. So from left to right we've got everything we need to make our candles. We've got our double boiler, our thermometer, our candle moulds, our clothes pegs, a little bag of candle dye, fragrance oil, wicks, wax and our weighing scale. So the first thing you want to do is weigh out your candle wax and this depends on what moulds you're using. So for the large bubble mould you use 169 grams of the candle wax and for the small bubble, for each individual small bubble, that's 40 grams. I always add in a little bit extra just to account for spillages and things like that. So just calculate that out and weigh that up. So to heat this candle wax up, I've got a double boiler. I've got a pan here with water in it and I've got a glass jug with all the candle wax. I've used this glass jug because it makes it a lot easier to pour the wax. And here I am just putting it in the water and we're just going to let this boil. You can use an old pot if you'd like, but the candle wax just, it's easier to pour in a jug and just use an old pot because the wax isn't easy to get out. So while we're waiting for our water to boil and our candle wax to melt, we're going to measure out the cotton candle wicks and size them up next to the candle moulds. So you just want to cut them to size just so there's enough to completely fit the mould and just with a little bit extra. So the next thing you want to do is you want to take a toothpick and make a hole in the centre of the mould. This is where the candle wick is going to thread through. This can get a bit fiddly so just use a sharp toothpick and once you've made that hole just try and thread the string through but if you have a large needle that might be a bit easier to thread the string through but otherwise it's a bit fiddly but eventually it does pull through. This will be essentially the top of the candle so we will be pouring them upside down. And while you're waiting just double check that all of your moulds are free of any dirt and contaminants. So this is how the wax was looking after 20 minutes. I left it on a simmering medium heat and as you can see it's slowly starting to melt. If you want it to melt faster you can put it on a higher heat but just keep an eye on it. It's really useful if you have a thermometer. This specific wax melts at around 60 degrees Celsius. However you don't want to let it go any higher than 85 degrees Celsius. So this is how it's looking after around 30 minutes. Just keep mixing as you go. Keep an eye on it. It does take a while but after around 40 minutes as pictured this is how it was looking you want to get it to around 69 degrees 70 degrees about 10 degrees higher than the melting point as that is when you add in the, any fragrance oil that you have so once it gets to around this temperature you can add in, that in when it gets to around that 70 plus degree mark you can start adding in your candle dye this is just to your preference, depending on the intensity that you want to add it in and just give it a little mix, add as much or as little as you want. I added the dye before the fragrance oil, it doesn't really matter, but this type of candle wax isn't really for fragrance throw, so just to add a generous amount, it'll be, the candle will be lightly scented, but when it burns it won't necessarily let out a lot of fragrance as this wax is more for a solid standing candle from a mould. So you want to let that cool down for around 5 to 10 minutes and you can start pouring the candle wax at 55 to 65 degrees. You want it to cool down a bit, otherwise it's too hot, it might crack when it's being unmoulded. But yeah, you just pour it right into the mould slowly and it should come out fine. Once that's all poured, you get the clothing peg and you want to centre the wick so obviously it gives a nice even burn and you use the clothing peg to keep that wick in the centre. It's a little bit fiddly, you want to try and make sure it doesn't sink into the wax so try and balance it on the side of the mould and that should stay. But remember this will be the upside down, this will be the bottom of the candle so it doesn't matter too much just try and make sure that the peg doesn't sink 
obviously it's a bit fiddly but once you get it it'll be fine. Also please just be careful this wax can get really really hot. Unfortunately, I forgot to film taking the candles out of the moulds, but this is how they look. You want to wait an hour to let them set and until the mould is completely cooled down and not warm to touch. And you just slowly want to push them out and the mould, again, can be a bit fiddly, but with a bit of force, you just pop out. And this is how they end up looking. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that your candles turn out useful.